So guys, ladies, how to tell your husband you would like to travel solo? This is what we're going to talk about on this first video of the series on marriage. And so because travel is my passion, of course, I had to start with this one. Many people didn't know I was married because I travel a lot. And for society, it's difficult to see a travel, um, a woman of a certain age traveling by herself and she's married. And if you add the dimension that I'm African, that's just like foreign, right? Unless you're traveling for business, for work, etc. But traveling just for leisure, was that your husband? Why? So that's what we're going to talk about in this first uh, video, if you have not done it before. Guys, since I've connected with so many uh, women on YouTube, you know, that's what YouTube is great about, is finding your community, is finding your tribe. Before joining YouTube, and this community, I felt like an alien, you know, somebody that want to travel, a woman that want to travel on her own, leaving a husband behind and her kids. Why? Right. So I understand that it can be ch challenging if that's your desire to travel by yourself. And if you have never had that discussion with your husband, it can be a challenge. And what I've discovered is that female solo travelers are on the rise okay before it was the youngster the 20 something after uni 20 plus you know traveling that's normal we've seen a lot of it but to see like grown married women and especially women after or over 50 wanted to travel on their own without the husband it's something that is not that common so i want to share with you a few tips you know, you can uh, use, try to bring that discussion to your husband, to your partner, to tell him that you actually want to fly, you know, to open your wings and travel solo. And there's something that you need to bring into your partner, husband attention is that traveling solo for women of our age it's more about just discovering new destination of course that's amazing going discovering new culture new languages etc it's all great but what i've discovered by talking about so many women's over 50 over 40 over 60 uh, traveling solo it's also about personal growth and self-discovery because a lot of women when we reach that age we have spent the first the last 20 years of our, our of our life looking after our families looking af after our kids and usually when we become empty nesters or when even if our kids still live at home with this economy, uh, they are independent, they're working, they can take after, they can look after themselves. It's that time that we find a breath of fresh air, you know, to now decide to do something for us. That what uh, I've discovered talking about with a lot of women. And somebody asked me a very good question, asked me, and I think that was D from h and Abroad, that would you have traveled alone uh, even if your husband um, did want to travel with you? Uh, meaning that am I just traveling alone because my husband is not interested in traveling anymore? Or would I still do it even if he was willing to come with me? The answer is yes, yes, yes. Whether my husband was available or not to travel with me, I would still want to have some traveling, do some traveling solo by myself. Because when you travel alone, it's all about you. And for women, we need that. We are usually 
centered on everyone else, looking after everyone as we are carer, we are we are we are everything for everyone else and very we do very little for our own self-care. And for me traveling solo is part of that, is part of taking care of myself too. It's some uh how to say that it's showing love to myself. So guys, it's, it is without saying that when it comes to now approaching that, uh, bringing that conversation to your husband, your partner, it's really to make sure that you take into account his concerns. Because as I told you, my husband was more worried about my safety. So it's important to address his concerns about, you know, you wanting to travel solo if you haven't done that before and to reassure him of ways that you can keep yourself safe, you know, um, le like letting him know of uh, where you're going to be staying and giving him the itinerary of your travel to make sure that he can know where you are and to keep him at peace. And when it comes to the relationship and men may be feeling like, you know, they are left out, just reassure him that it's just some of the travel that you want to do alone. And that, of course, you know, you're still up to having a tete-a-tete, -tete, right? You know, he may feel that you, you have an issue with them and you want to distance yourself from the relationship. Uh, it may be for some people, but for a lot of travelers, a lot of women that want to travel solo, it's more about ourselves. It's more about self-discovery, as I said, and less about, you know, wanting to be away uh, from our husband. So it's important to address that. And it's very important that we're not on the defensive and more and show empathy and understanding for our partner's concerns. For a lot of men, the role of a man, you know, is to protect, right? That's really into the core, to protect the family, to protect their wives. So you going on your own may freak him out. So you really need to reassure him. You, you really need to make him understand that you want to have some personal growth, some alone time, right? This will help to make the conversation smoother, that you're not on the defense when he will ask you question, but to carefully listen, to sit with whatever questions or concerns that he has and answer to him truthfully and listen to his suggestions. You know, uh, my husband which is normal, wants to know my itinerary. And when I leave the hotel to go somewhere, I will tell him, okay, I'm maybe leaving this place and going there and doing this and that. So he knows where I am. And very often I will send him a location to where I'm going. If I'm going to, I don't know, a cruise or a visit somewhere far from the city where I landed, I will let him know. So he will know at all time where I am, it's more for my safety than anything else. It's not about control, it's really about safety. And it's important to remind your husband how you traveling solo can bring a lot of benefit to the relationship. Because for me, we don't talk as much as we talk when I'm traveling. We're always on the phone, I love you, how are you, blah, blah, blah. When we are at home all the time, you know, we don't discuss that much. And when I come back, I'm all bubbly and all, all joyful and, you know, have so much to share. And for a while, you know, we are on that little cloud where I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so resourced with everything that I've seen and I share and I'm more happy. So it definitely impacts positively the relationship. So that's something that you can share with your partner. Have that um, uh, testimony with so many women that are 
I shared about traveling solo as a married woman, it really helps the relationship. You, you kind of come back to like at the beginning when you were dating, you know, you're more happy to talk on the phone, to send uh, nice um, messages and it, it, it is nice. It is nice. It's really refreshing for the relationship and men definitely, our husband, our men definitely benefit from us being away for a while because we come back happier and we say happy wife. Happy life. Explain to your husband that solo traveling is something that will definitely uh, improve your self confidence. And a woman sometimes will lose a bit of a confidence within the marriage. You know, uh, she becomes like I've said it several times, like a, a shadow of a husband of a family because she lives for them. Solo. Traveling solo is something that will help you grow your confidence. A lot of women lose their confidence after 50. They feel a little bit obsolete. And we're dealing with perimenopause, with menopause, and with a lot of different things, you know. So traveling solo is something that can bring a lot uh, back our confidence. We bring her more independence because so far we've been codependent with our husband, with our kids. It will really help us to have a deeper understanding of ourselves because we kind of lost touch on ourselves. I don't know for you, but that was the case for me. And I'm kind of discovering who, who I am as a woman, you know, how uh, outside of being a, a wife, a mother, a sister, etc., just being me. So, and it's something that your partner, your husband will definitely appreciate because our husband knows us the best, our partners know, knows us the best and they know how we change with, with time and us coming back with more confidence is definitely something that they are going to appreciate. So guys, that conversation may not happen once. It's okay to pause the conversation let your husband marinate on it, sleep on it, and then come back uh, with that conversation again another day, you know, and just reassuring him and certainly also planning another trip that you both will go uh, on together so he doesn't feel left out and knows that you have been planned something that you will be doing together as a couple so it takes time it took time for me to come to that point but as i said i've been repeating it to my husband over and over again it doesn't have to take it doesn't have to take you five years too and it depends who you married with right for some you know a couple it might be more difficult but you know with persistence and talking about how you need it for your own well-being, your own growth. Your husband wants the best for you. Your partner wants the best for you. So it will come around and as long as everything is planned to the way where he knows where you are at all time and know that you are safe, um, the conversation will certainly lead to him agreeing with you uh, doing your solo trip um so i hope that will help um i didn't want to be too long because um 30 video in 30 day challenge i need to be short and sweet um, let's continue the conversation in the comment if you're not subscribed on this channel please subscribe and leave me a thumbs up and by the way it's a 30 day challenge so if you have any other questions that you would like me to address regarding marriage wisdom uh, video series you know leave it on the comment and I will be sure to address it what I haven't told you yet is that I'm gonna have some guests on the channel I don't know when exactly but along this uh, 30 day video challenge I will be inviting some of my YouTuber friends to join me 
and to discuss for them to bring them your their tips and wisdom about marriage and and was it divorce, remarriage, etc. All things relationship we will be talking about on this series. So stay tuned and don't forget to activate the notification bell so you don't miss any video.